Welcome back to Fast Market here on the Schwab Network. It's time for our cash tags. For that, let's bring in our next guest. That's Andy Swan, co-founder at Likefolio. Welcome back to the show, Andy. Thank you. All right, Domino's Pizza. It's pulled back a little bit this month, now down about uh, just over 7%. Uh, but expectations pretty high. Last quarter, they uh, had same-store sales in the U.S. up over 7%. This seems to be the leader uh, in this space, uh, right, Andy? Yeah, it's, it is the leader in the space, you know, one of the all-time great turnaround stories, I would say. And one of the things I think that it's important for people to realize is, you know, in the era of AI and robotics, Domino's actually is a tech company uh, in a lot of ways. You know, this is a company that really um, turned itself around through technology, uh, through, you know, its ordering processes, everything uh, from how they make the pizza is being reinvented. They've got a you know a robot tossing the dough now in some stores and really focusing on that consistency of product that has helped uh, McDonald's do so well over the years and and implementing AI on both the the back end and the front end customer experience in order taking. I think um, you know Domino's is uh, positioning itself really well to continue to drive really, really strong efficiencies and consistency and a really good rewards program that people love. So uh, all those things very positive about Domino's. Like Folio Data is pretty flat overall. Um, we think that there, there's good reason for the stock to be consolidating. We think that demand for the com company's products has consolidated somewhat. Uh, Pizza Hut's starting to make a little bit of a resurgence with a, you know, bringing back the lunch buffet and some of that nostalgia that I think uh, people are missing from Pizza Hut. But, you know, overall, Domino's, a good company, uh, a great partnership with with Uber, um, very good uh, efficiencies of scale and use of technology. So we like it long term. We just think, you know, going into earnings here is probably priced about right. Yeah, Andy, they've missed revenue estimates six of the last nine quarters, but not last quarter. Big beat in earnings, big beat in revenue, expected to do well again this time. And you just mentioned the two key drivers. It's the rewards program, Domino's Rewards, and it's their, their partnership with Uber that seems to be making a net that was already big even bigger. It's bringing a whole new group. They expect in full year 23, they, they expected Uber to add 3%. So what we're going to do now is get a really good idea of how much Uber is contributing by their growth numbers. Do you see any numbers out of out of their rewards or Uber? Does any of your data like cover that, or do you see any any, any signals that that's getting better? Yeah, I, I do think it's getting better. In fact, when we look at like folio data on web visits to Domino's uh, being down, we attribute that uh, very much to the partnership with Uber. People are going to the Uber app instead of dominoes.com. It makes perfect sense to us uh, that they would be losing that off. And that's probably, and I think that's fine with the company. Uh, and so, you know, you talked about the revenue misses and the, and the revenue beats over the last few quarters. One of the interesting things I think from a trading perspective is this company, I think the, the expected move is around 5%. The last four quarters, um, you know, the week of, of those earnings announcements, Domino's has moved something like 1.9%, 2.1%, 2%. I think the biggest move was around 3%. So this is a company, the last four quarters, really hasn't had big reactions on earnings, despite some pretty uh, shocking headlines on the top and bottom line. So uh, kind of an interesting uh, dynamic there where the market tends to expect a bigger move out of Domino's than they generally have gotten over the last four quarters. Yeah, that's interesting, Andy. I was looking at the the last two-year chart, maybe one quarter where it probably yeah. moved outside that one standard deviation, but a lot of the moves are based on mid-quarter update and things yeah. of that nature or maybe a competitor in the space. Why is Andy moving... getting in our business with expected moves? <laughs> what is he doing? I hey, love stay that. in your lane over I, there, Mr. Like Folio. I love that's that. our job. I love that, Andy. But you made a, you made a good point about uh, them starting to work AI into, uh, into their uh, company. And they were one of the first ones that had an app, that had a rewards program. Yes. So they were leading the tech revolution in this space. And I remember, you know, a few years ago, we were talking about Domino's. And I was like, why is everybody hyped up about the tech that they're putting into this pizza-making operation? But it paid off, Andy. Is that yeah. 
the next growth phase for them, uh, you know, moving into these earnings and uh, into the future? Yeah, you know, if it was any other pizza company that was claiming that AI or robotics were going to revolutionize uh, what they're doing, you'd just, you know, kind of shrug it off as fluff or hype trying to get on the latest wave. But Domino's has, de has technology in its DNA, and they have executed on a tech-first uh, process over the last 10, 15 years extraordinarily well. So I take them at their word when they talk about uh, these things revolutionizing the way that they do business and the and the customer experience. And I think uh, it will continue to create efficiencies for Domino's to be able to offer either lower prices that undercut the competition or to continue to uh, grow profit margins over time. And either one is a uh, is a great strategy for Domino's going forward. They just they they do things better than their competitors, and it shows. Awesome uh, data. Awesome data. Uh, good stuff as always, Andy. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Thanks. You too. All right. That's Andy Swan, co-founder at Likefolio, breaking down the data for us. Uh, Kev, they're expected to grow EPS about 